ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Macha Man Podcast. Oh. All right, my name is Peter Baladevan. Um, this is the Malaysian Story Podcast where I don't know what the hell the story is going to be. Okay, and my uh, uh, co-host will tell me the story and we will see what happens. I'm usually I get very upset. So let me now introduce my co-host, the other Macha of the Macha Man, Kamin J, everybody. <laughs> We'll cut this part out, don't worry. <laughs> no, we won't. Uh-huh. Oh, no, ma! Oh. Shut up, I'm doing the editing, okay? It's not like, it's not like he does any work, you know. No, I refuse to do work, of course not. If I need work, I wouldn't be in this podcast. He showed up five minutes before y'all, okay? I set up the whole microphone, the right. camera, everything. 100%. He showed up five minutes. 100%, I agree. And acting like he did the whole thing, you know? No, I'm not acting. I'm telling you right now, I don't do a damn shit thing out of this podcast. <laughs> And that's why I want it to be. <laughs> hey, come I mean, talk to them. I've just I've been talking to them. Say hello. Hello, hi, hi, hi everybody. Hello. <laughs> you know, I was just there, right? You know, like, when you were talking to them, I also was listening. No, still, ninety three people don't know you, right? We are talk to them. Give it to them. Hello. Can I boo you? Uh, my name is Savi J. Not the third one. Actually, I know this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want it. Uh, no, 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 no. Forget doxing, where people don't like magic. Okay, so, um, usually how we start our uh, Macha Man podcast is, I will do our Macha news of the episode, which is I will go and search the internet for weird news about brown people. <laughs> oh, yes, I got a, uh, today, uh, a special thing because we're doing a live episode of the show, we're actually doing an episode of the show now. Yes. Right? <laughs> and the reason, guys, all our fans, yeah, who are, who are only saying you're all here, so there's a reason why we take very long uh, in between the episodes because we don't give a fuck. That's the only reason. Um, <laughs> that, that is absolutely true. Like, 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 yeah. If we gave even a little bit more of a shit, this would, this podcast would be so popular, guys. <laughs> but we got no time. Who got time for that? You know what I mean? So, as a treat, I've got two matcha news for you. Oh. Ah. oh! I'm talking like three days because most stories are very short. So it's very <laughs> also, he only found the stories five minutes ago. <laughs> Shut up, okay? I found, stories, I found the stories at 8 o'clock today, okay? okay. Oh, sorry. Uh-huh. An hour ago. <laughs> I'm a professional, right? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, the, actually, both our news is from our favorite uh, weird news website. Yes! Weird yes. 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 news! Uh, it's, it's, it, in case you all don't know, please go and. It's weird. What, what's uh, the website? Meet dot, no, meet dash a dot com. Ah, yes. Right? It's an uh, Indian um, uh, news portal. Somehow they only focus on all the northern states where they're talking cocky and all the shit that happens. No, no, because if you've ever been to India, the northern states are fucked up. Huh? I mean, they're a bit They're a bit so the first story is, uh, both stories are from this year, so the first story is from 29th of April. 29th of April? Uh, this year? Okay. 2022. The, the year of our Lord? No, no, no. The, the, the Lord is that. Okay. <laughs> the year the Lord gave up. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, calling, I'm calling it, you know, God has left. <laughs> uh, the first story is Maharashtra. Okay. okay so we're starting from Maharashtra. Father picks another man for his daughter as groom. Failed to reach venue on time. <laughs> that is the most Indian headline yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah. Hey, Groom, where are you? On the way. On the way. <laughs> oh shit, our Malaysian thing went there also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'll come, I'll come, don't I'll come, I'll come. Hey, you're one hour late. <laughs> After waiting for more than four hours, okay. the father's uh, the bride's father decided to tie his daughter's wedding knot with a guest. Okay, <laughs> so this happened in uh, in uh, in uh, uh, 29th April. So um, in the Buldana district of Maharashtra, the father of bride got his daughter married to one of the guests at the wedding venue instead of waiting for the groom to arrive. That is the worst crowd work ever. <laughs> That's like okay, the groom didn't show. Who what? Who what? <laughs> who what? Okay, please all put up your hands. So, no guy would put up their hand. Your mother's however. <laughs> Imagine if that happened here. Every auntie going to the wedding is waiting for the wedding. Anybody want to, ah, no, 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 this one, this one. This one. But ma, yeah. Shut up, ma, just let me. Just marry first, you can sort that out later. 
rather than reaching the venue on time for his own wedding, the drunk groom, <laughs> the drunk groom, was busy dancing and drinking before the wedding. <laughs> The wedding was scheduled on April 22nd at Malkapu Pangra village of Budana district. Okay. The bride and her family were waiting for the groom to reach the venue. After waiting for more than four hours, the bride's father decided to tie his daughter's wedding knot with a gas insert. No, so I just want to know when the groom like dancing, drinking all, yeah. and then he suddenly uh, like, oh shit, my wedding, and then he arrives and he's like, oh, you married someone else already? Yeah? No, I so, okay, so I told you the story was short. Uh, this is how it ends. Uh, that's uh, it over here. Four hours later, when the groom arrived at the venue, the bride's father refused to get his daughter married to him. <laughs> that's it. Because you already married someone else. Yeah. No, but how do you get out of the situation? You know what I mean? Hey, bro. What bro? bro. Come on. Bro, 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 Oh, 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 <laughs> so the next story, not surprisingly, does not come from India. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. It's happened on the 27th, the story is on 27th May 2022. Sheep! You have to go. Face yourself, huh, bro? So because I love finding story for animals, I know why. Sheep sentenced to three years in prison. <laughs> the money laundering. <laughs> I wish. For killing a woman in South Sudan. Wait, a sheep Okay. Okay. I like all this start here. In a bizarre development. Come on. Bro, you don't. Your headline is not. You don't have to say that. No, exactly. Who is reading a sheep arrested for murder? Right. Oh, that's normal. Yeah. In a bizarre. Oh, a bizarre development. Uh, in a bizarre development, a sheep in South Sudan has been sentenced to jail for yeah for three years after being found guilty of killing a woman. Okay, the victim has been identified as a 45-year-old woman, Adiu uh, Chaping, okay. who was attacked by sheep earlier in May. Okay, okay. okay. Adi, what was she doing with the sheep? <laughs> I know. Look, this sounds like victim blaming. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> What questions need to be asked? <laughs> Sheep don't attack people as you play, huh? No, bro, how you know? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so I'm taking the size of the sheep here, right? No, 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 I understand what color was the sheep. What's that? What, what color was the sheep? You don't make it a red sheep. Okay. Black sheep matters, right? Okay. okay. How about black sheep matters? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the victim. Uh, <laughs> wait, where? Wait, okay. Yeah, uh, I, I was attacked earlier. Me, uh, you was repeatedly attacked by the sheep, <laughs> and as a result of it, she broke her ribs and later died. No, no, no. Okay, listen. You all don't know you are. First of all, listen. It's sad when someone dies. I agree. Yes. But when someone dies because of a sheep. I think for the sake of humanity, we have to laugh. <laughs> also, also, I think that the, the parents of the, the sheep, sheep they would have covered the parents of the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> no, the parents of the lady, like, you know, she died. How did she die? <laughs> okay, sky diving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the father, like, ask again, ask again. Uh, like, how, how did she die? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's just laughing at what he's going to say. The sheep was held and taken into custody at a police station in Maleng Ago Payam. Okay, did it, is this an arrest or what? Uh, why? why? Didn't say. <laughs> no, they, I like the way this article has not even acknowledged that this is a sheep. <laughs> no, you understand? No, it's written it like the sheep was arrested. <laughs> it was thrown to the ground. 
Uh, while speaking with the media, Major Elijah oh, Muhammad. Oh, thank God. I thought while speaking with the media, the sheep said. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really don't like that they didn't get the sheep's point of view. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because you see, uh, Major Elijah Mabo said, the owner is innocent and the ram is the one who perpetrated the crime. Okay. <laughs> so he deserves to be arrested. Then later on, the case shall be forwarded to customary court where the case can be handled amicably. <laughs> They're treating this like a murder case, you yeah, know. I know. Can you imagine the judge? Like the judge. You know how hard he worked to get to that point. <laughs> he sits down, begs his gravel, and uh... <laughs> uh, the case today is uh, uh, the state v sheep. <laughs> The state we shot the sheep. <laughs> hey, the sheep got lawyer or not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they has to be represented by a lawyer. I don't know, know South Sudan law. No, no, it has to be. The, the, the lawyer went to law school for four years. <laughs> Came out, graduated, first case, open. I'm talking that is a big sheep. According to local media reports, uh -huh. Roni Manyang Dao, who is the owner of the sheep, uh -huh. okay, has been ordered by the court to give five cows to the victim's family. <laughs> no, no, fair enough, I think. Okay, la, Sudan, fair la, Sudan, la, uh, Sudan. No, la. One daughter, five cows, correct? Uh? <laughs> sheep, not daughter. No, no one daughter, that will yes, be five cows. <laughs> so in Sudan, one daughter is worth five cows. Ah, okay. <laughs> Expensive. Uh, also, <laughs> No, depends on the girl. Depends on the girl. So, okay, okay. Uh, so, this is how I get you in trouble. Right? No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. If the girl. No, no, no. This is how. Okay, okay. The girl was worth 5,000. Uh, 5,000 is hot or not? No, no, she looked like a Oh, my God. Hey, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot, it's hot. No, I'm just saying, wait for it. Huh? I know. Wow. Okay, cancel him. Huh? Cancel him. <laughs> also, the owner and victim's family are related. <laughs> and neighbors and have signed an agreement with the police to finalize the deal. Must sign an agreement. Must sign an agreement. Right? So, so I just spoke. Listen, this happened this year. Right? I think we need to, to, to start a uh, hashtag free sheep movement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she did anything wrong. Huh? Will the sheep be out for good behavior or what? <laughs> the sheep gonna go to jail and gym and that. Like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. come, just come on, six off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a cholo, no. What's up, they say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just hear ba ba. No, no, no. On the hoof. On the hoof. Cannot, uh, this. What was she doing near the sheep? That's my problem. Yeah, I guess. No, that's for nothing. The sheep go to jail, no? Yeah, exactly. I just. You know, again, victim blaming, I understand. But still, what do you do to a sheep that the sheep kills you? Is this. The asker, I cannot understand the asker. Why put it in jail? Eat it, lah. That's what we would do here, right? Correct, lah. Sheep, you know. Cool. Well, then, then, la. To be fair, I think it will be eaten. Okay, no, no, no. Go to Kerala, 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 Kerala. That one is called execution already. That is a death row. Right? La. <laughs> the sheep will go inside the lamp shack, lah. Hey! Very nice. And that's Macha News, everybody. <laughs> now is the sad part. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to this story. I really don't know. Yes. All I've heard before the, in the lead up to planning this and all that is whenever I meet up with Kavin and Rakit, they go look at me and you wait. And it's <laughs> so, come. Okay, so uh, the story starts with. Ibrahim bin Mahmud was born to a respected religious teacher, Tuan Haji Mahmud, between 1942 and 1944. Yeah. Uh, the, I, okay, I think they don't know when the birth date is. I don't think the labor was that long. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, okay. So that was it, really, it will right. be really difficult if the yeah. mother goes in. Two years later, the baby comes out. I mean, I don't know. Okay. The baby walks out. Yeah. <laughs> no. okay. So, so it, somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. Uh, okay. Hopefully, lah. The baby wasn't two years old when he was born. <laughs> right? so, okay. Okay. He was born between 1942 and 1944 in Bali, Kedah. Okay. And was taught in a madrasa in Kapalabata, Spinang. Okay. 
Okay, Ibrahim would graduate from the prestigious Al Azhar University, mm -hmm. as in Egypt, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and further his education in India and Libya. Oh, so this is a well-learned fellow. Ah, well-learned. Yeah. How how they got money from that time to go from here to there all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> in the 1970s, he would land a job with the Prime Minister's office oh. as a preacher. I'm sorry? As a preacher. <laughs> There's a job in the Prime Minister's office. As a preacher. The job description is a, a, a preacher. A preacher. Someone who preaches the like religious things. Yeah, basically the mufti, one of the mufti's. That is a government. Mufti is the one who goes, cannot, cannot! Also, <laughs> <laughs> cannot! I, I'm just asking. Prime Minister's office, huh? Ah, Prime Minister. Why, yeah? Huh? Because they have to say cannot to everything. Why? Okay, yes. Uh, they have to legitimize things that they want to say cannot to. Okay, 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 okay. Like, you know, like, you know. No, I didn't know. I didn't know there was a department of preaching in the <laughs> Prime Minister's office. Oh, what? There were, where you need one. It's, it's very pretty. Okay. Bro, like, <laughs> just, no, I know. I didn't know what it was. I thought they just do it like, I thought preachers in Malaysia is like, like, like the Hindi artists, you know, they, they, they go to themselves. No, no, no. Nowadays, what the Hindi artists on Twitter, ah, ah, the one that you see, PU, PU. Oh, okay. Uh, they, will see, they will be like, you know, they, they will uh, anoint themselves as a preacher. Okay. Uh, that one. But those days, you have to be appointed by the Prime Minister. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yo. Yes, okay. why? Yes. Because they need, they need a legitimized way uh -huh. to say something can or cannot. Like concerts cannot. Okay. <laughs> Corruption? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but even back in those, most of the things cannot. Uh, that time, eh. Anyway. Okay. 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 He would uh, get a job in the Prime Minister's office as a preacher and grow incredibly popular on RTM1. So they sent him out to go on TV and talk uh, about He's a TV preacher. La. Okay. He's All like right. one of those celebrity preachers. Ah, okay. Like, like, like basically one of those like, like the, the, the Gordon Ramsay of preaching. <laughs> okay. You know like celebrity chef, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you come on like, you know, what are you, idiot sandwich? Correct, I'm go pray. Oh. <laughs> uh, honestly, I would watch that, I won't lie. So, and, and, and the thing is, he grew incredibly popular on RTM1. Okay. I mean, this is back then. Yeah, in the back then, like, in one or two stations. Correct. RTM1, RTM2. Uh, I guess you're popular in one. Okay, good view. He even started his own school in his hometown in Mamali. Okay. Okay. But government limits made him unhappy. And he returned to Libya as a preacher before returning to Mamali. He was here, he went back to Libya. Yes. He went back to Libya. Started preaching there. Ah, started preaching. <laughs> no, because you see, you have to understand who was the president of Libya at that time. Who? Muammar Gaddafi. Okay. So if he so he was un he was like Ah, Malaysia government <coughs> useless lah. And then he went there. And then he went there and it's like, you know what, I'll come back lah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he went there and he stayed for like 3-4 years. Oh, Gaddafi loved him lah. Gaddafi loved okay. him. He loved Gaddafi too, I guess. I don't know. I am going to right now jot this down as a red flag lah. Yes. <laughs> so he was there for 3 years, right? And then he came, he, 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 and then he returned to M Mamali. Okay. Right, he sold out. He earned his, this, this earned him his nickname, Ibrahim Libya. We are not very creative with nicknames here. No, 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 no. no it, it's very difficult because if someone from Brickfield, it'd be Brickfield's bomb. <laughs> no, no, if you go to any country and do anything good and come back, they'll be like, you are something. Yeah, no, no, it, it depends on where you've been or what you've done or where you're from. It, it, everything has to rhyme with a name. Okay. Right? So, like, you know, like Clang Karaga Party. Sure. <laughs> Rawang Roy. That's my answer. Go from here. Okay? Listen. You all want to get so many family to this one. So now I'm going to lose my mother. Here, man. Oh, he's my answer. Okay. 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 So if I go to Nepal and find somebody, I'll be here in Nepal. Huh? You will be Nepal nipples. <laughs> yeah, okay with that. Right? Okay with that. Right? No, because you have Nepal nipples. Okay, okay calm, down. Calm, calm down. Okay, I don't know, know. If, if you've ever seen him in a t-shirt, right? No, no, they all you see just nipples. I'm wearing a thin white uh, shirt now. Everybody can see. Trust me, I know. I know. That's, that's why I'm not giving anybody eye contact today. <laughs> no, you're giving them nipple contact. I know. Right? It's like, 
Okay, so that earned him his nickname Ibrahim Libya. Right. Uh, meanwhile, politically, things were tense. In 1974, the Bali farmers' riots, riots broke out. Okay. Right? They were writing over what? Uh, it, 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 no, they, they broke out. The, the riots broke out. Yeah, they were writing about oh, what? I thought you said they were writing about what? I'm like, what? Wow! Wow, you really want to cancel that this episode? By farmers. What they said they said the sheep are you still the sheep gangsters? You want the sheep? What the sheep? What the sheep gonna turn out your house? Okay, so the Bali riots, they were rioting about the uh, the rubber prices. Now the rubber prices dropped. From like sixty cents mm. to fifteen cents. That's a lot of. That's sense. a lot of cents. Yes. Uh, so my math very bad. Uh, uh, so no. yeah, the the, the uh, rubber prices went down. The government didn't give a shit, and basically the uh, they the farmers being hungry, they just rioted and basically became a huge issue at the time of the Bali riots. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, in that in nineteen seventy eight, pass laws catastrophically. In the polls to one's MIBN due to a ban election due to a ban on election rallies and BN access to the media. Oh, they actually ban election rallies. Uh, what they they ban? They like oh no no more election rallies. We just we just put everything in the newspaper. Pass. You got own any newspapers up? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but they made you print this one. <laughs> wow. Hey, you straight up you print. We are good. <laughs> Shit, this was in 1970 something. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad Pierre doesn't do that nowadays. Right? You know, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Move forward. <I> mean. <laughs> Ibrahim was one of those past contenders who lost Ibrahim Libya. Okay. Right so, now. So he okay. Because of this, uh, Pass basically denounced BN as a satanic cult. Oh. This wait, they actually called Yes, sir. Yes. Wait, so historically, this was whoever they don't like, they were just simply say like you are Satan, you are yeah, Satan, whatever. Is whatever and, then, <laughs> and then when they when they need their help, it's like you are my brother from another mother, you have to please give me seats. We will get to that later. Oh, shit. Okay, alright. A year later, the Iranian revolution would happen. Okay. Further emboldening the. Good for them, I think. I yes, know. No, I guess. I mean, you know, again, another, well, now another Iranian revolution is happening. I don't know that their country is revolted so many times. I don't know what they are very revolting. Uh, <laughs> the people, the people, the people, the country, the people. A year later, the Iranian Revolution would happen, further emboldening foreign trained preachers, including Nick Aziz and Hadi Awam. Okay, so they because of the revolution, they like I also want to be a preacher now. Yes, yes. Okay, it's a career. Yeah. No, like basically the Iranian, then everybody like, oh, the preacher, very good. Yeah. Ah, how are you? So Nick Aziz and Hadi Awang basically took over past. But I right. thought, I thought this part of the world they don't like the Iranians because they different or something. No, no, I saw people say like. Yes, <laughs> yeah. No, I thought there was that thing where like there's one Muslim don't like the other Muslim also. Yes, but no, basically everybody there was like Indians, so we all don't like each other. Yeah, right, right. right. No, you know, <laughs> every, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has some type of Indian in there, but we don't like Indian in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah you be the same. Everything the same. You know, uh, same. Uh, oh, what are you, Malayali? Malayali? Oh, Malayali. Okay. Uh, what are you? Uh, 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 Nai do, Nai do, Aisha, Nai do. And then when do you stay? So I must see. Fuck you, lah. There's any reason to be like any reason to be. We are raised on haters. Correct, correct, correct. So. This would trigger the 1982 ulama takeover of PAS, oh. turning the party furiously anti-government as it was pro-Islam. Okay. According to Senator Yusuf Hussein, Ibrahim Libya constantly called for national leadership. Right? So this led Amno leaders accusing PAS leaders of being religious cultists and terrorists. So they don't like each other? They don't like each other. So PAS is calling BN Satanists. Okay, and then and then uh, Amno is calling them terrorists. Yeah, terrorists. <laughs> so that's parliament, lah, basically. Hey, hey, you terrorists! Yeah. Hey, no, okay. you satanist girl. <laughs> so that time they were fighting. Uh, now also they still. Correct, fight. correct. Wait, no, now different. We will get to that later. I feel like. Okay, now go on. <laughs> Which admittedly were common at that time. The terrorist thing, lah. 
Yes. It's so nice, right? Because nowadays, anytime anybody else calls past Paris and oh fuck you, you are insulting them, you're gonna talk about Malaysians again. I just wish I was around that time. I was like, yeah. if I call them a terrorist, and they, hey, you can't say no, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. In fact, I think if I had been around that time and shot a terrorist, I, they would let me join up now. Yeah. No, you don't. No, no. You'll have to join MIC. Okay. No, I don't like Indians. I don't like Indians. Oh. The fuck I want to join MIC for? So this 1984, you'll be, well, it was run by Indians at that time. No, I don't know. Like, um, Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Not it. Thanks. <laughs> 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 keep sending the propaganda. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that just, you know, goes under the radar so I can edit it out. <laughs> and then they all clap. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> and so you don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, la, guys. <laughs> No, sometimes when I say some shit, uh, you all can just let it go, no guys. <laughs> okay, we all want to see you get cancelled. Right, so... <laughs> and it didn't help that Ibrahim Libya's popularity grew more threatening, according to journalist Amin Iskandar. Mm -hmm. So, in 1984, the government issued a warrant for Ibrahim's arrest. Wait, so this law was talking shit so much about BN that they went, they went and arrested him? No, they, they basically went like, oh, okay, arrest the fellow. Because of? Because of ISA. Huh? <laughs> what? ISA. Just, oh, the... Uh, Internal uh, Security Act. No, no new reason. Why? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Uh, in, in, for, for anybody listening, the ISA is the government's... Uh, is, is basically for the government to go, uh, fuck you, we do what we want. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. You don't agree? Okay, good. Okay. Ah, thank you, thank you. Just go here. Uh, yeah, you come, come, come. Yeah. Come, come. Uh, don't you don't talk shit, right? Uh, <laughs> Just step into the trap door, eh? Ah, okay, ah, go. Okay, he's disappeared. Okay, right. there you go. <laughs> Don't know what happened. Who is he? Who? Where? Where? God, you like Libya? And then went back to Libya. No, la, I wasn't working that day, right? <laughs> so, okay, in 1984, the government issued a warrant for Ibrahim's arrest, okay. as well as other young past leaders, okay, under the Internal Security Act. Mm. Yusuf, My favorite act, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yusuf argues that knowing how draconian the ISA was, it was only natural for Ibrahim Libya to go into hiding. Wait. The, a past member uh -huh. is saying there is something in the country that is too draconian. Yeah. yeah the, too the controlling. Irony, yes, the irony is uh, yes. A past member was upset uh -huh. that their freedom was being tampered with. <laughs> Correct, yes, yes, you have the, yeah. That they weren't allowed to do what they want to do. Correct. A past member. Yes, yes, correct. Okay. Correct. Listen, I think no. I'm going to get irony poisoning right okay. <laughs> Your irony level is quite low. Very high, very high. Uh, but given the political powder keg that all this all was, it was perhaps understandable that Deputy Prime Minister Musa Hitam, okay. Internal Affairs Minister, a de facto Prime Minister in Mahathir's absence mm -hmm. issued this seemingly sensible order. Under no circumstances must the arresting party use force where it might cause bloodshed. Oh, so nice! Ah, if there was any resistance, the arresting party has to withdraw. Oh, yes, sir. Ah. So what? They uh, assume they're going to go and uh, catch them with a hug, is it? <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's what they're going to do. No force. <laughs> they were like, come la. <laughs> come la. Let's get the man la, please la. We got candy, do we? Candy. Bro, bro, come la, come la. Bro, I give you five bucks, bro. Let's come la, let's come. We're the past members of the children, do we? Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. That, that, that time was all of them. Huh? That time was all of them. Yeah. Okay. Just want to be sure. It's been like that since like 1742. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. This crowd is inviting you so much. I'm so happy. Huh? So, like, I have to do so little work to fuck you up. Thank you, Lagasam. Thank you. Stop that, thing, Stop that, 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 Stop Balik OCPD Tuku Muzaffar Shah bin Tuku Ibrahim mm. wrote in his book, Memali a Policeman Remembers. 
that he and the Kedah special branch would be tasked with arresting Ibrahim Libya on September 1st, 1984. Okay. At the same time as another suspect in Sungai Petani. Okay. As they were sending their kids to school in the morning. <laughs> That's how weird. <laughs> no, I like the way they, they, they had to arrest two at the same time. Right? They just like, okay, you go here. <laughs> and then the other one will be on the side. They both, both send to school at the same time. I'll be arrest, okay? That time no handphone, how they got it, huh? Walkie talkie, that one, yeah. Walkie talkie. I, I guess I, it's a really good walkie talkie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. You know, use RTM1. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I guess I guess they have to arrest at the same time because uh, I guess it's I mean if you arrest one then the other case about it he runs away. I guess they have to arrest at the same time so that no 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 nobody will No, no okay, okay, I'm just asking like wait until like they go home now after so they drop the kids. Yeah, I know, right? Let them drop the kids first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then. Like the kids cannot go to school that day, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No, you know how terrible kids are, right? Yeah. You if that confirm uh, they they would have gone, hey Papa you know that guy! Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, hey, school kids are, uh, school kids are terrible, bro. Uh, so they were they were supposed to catch both at the same time. Okay. But this was botched when the special branch caught the other suspect too early. <laughs> okay. The night before. <laughs> Oh, so this were when police first were hard working, right? Yeah. Oh. I guess this, they yeah, no mobile phone, yeah, 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 no walkie talkie yeah. cannot go that far. No, no, but they would have said the date already. They would have, they would have went on the phone like, hey bro, okay, so tomorrow morning, ah, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. No, 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 no bro. He doesn't say tomorrow morning or tonight. Uh, <laughs> see, what he did was, uh, show initiative. Okay. <laughs> like, why wait until tomorrow? Uh, He's at home tonight, man. I'll go and catch him, ah. Uh. You, maybe it's not like you lie, you the kids lie. Ah, yeah, 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 you know, right. then the kids will make fun of the kids. Yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's just arrest yeah. him like, He went there, but because they cannot use force, it's like, Hello? <laughs> hey, can come on up for a while? I say, you, you police, ah? No, no, you just come on. Worst knock knock joke, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> knock knock, who's there? Your friend. <laughs> Your friend who? <laughs> Hey, just come lah, just come lah. <laughs> and then, the, the problem is definitely came out, no? Ah, hello? Ah. Did you say you have kids in the van? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doubling down on that. Uh, the night before. So now they have to act fast with uh, Ibrahim and Bia. In the weirdest case of Let Lu, in Malaysian history, the special brother. I like how the way you say it. Lelu. Saroko, Lelu. Alah, Lelu, Lelu, Lelu. Okay, don't speak English, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try that now. <laughs> oh. This was 1984 in Batman Gadda. Uh, you know when they come after both of us, it was all your idea. <laughs> As we already established in the beginning, I don't do any work. So fuck you. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been planning this since episode one, bro. What you? Okay, in the weirdest case of Black Lu, Pak Lu, in Malaysian history, the special project told Muzaffa to hold off till morning. Oh, after okay, uh, so, they, so because yeah, they're yeah. definitely arrested already, then they're like, oh, should we go now? No, the special one. Eh, let's go, bro. Uh, let's go, let's go. Go to school, go to school. Uh, uh, school uh, uh, so, uh, all of the morning after pleading to let them do their jobs. Wow. <laughs> what? Muzaffa and other special branch cops drove to the target's house in Kampung Charok Putih at two forty-five a.m. 
He was told to abort the mission. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Hey, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> so then uh, Muzaffar had to get into his car and drive back to the house where the police were arriving. And tell them mission abort. Yes, mission abort. Upon returning, Muzaffar was told someone sound someone sounded a wooden log drum. Where the one those drum is a doom. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly you know your your use of the word suddenly uh, deeper deeper <laughs> trauma. Twenty to thirty people armed with sharp bamboo sticks and other weapons emerged out of the darkness and converged. Oh fuck yeah bro! <laughs> yes! Emerged out of the darkness and converged on the police party. Holy shit! So he went to make a phone call, came back, fuck, y'all are surrounded now, what the fuck? <laughs> As ordered, the party, uh, the police party, fled in order to avoid a deadly confrontation. I mean, yeah, okay, but the fact that a mob came after police officers. No, I like the fact that it's just, you know, like, you know, the, 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 the chief lab. Yeah. Right, suddenly what? Gong, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gong, 20 people just like, <laughs> like ninjas like that, no? <laughs> just showed up, hey, apa do mom? Apa do mom? Bamboo sticks, so bamboo, sticks. Bamboo, sticks. <laughs> bamboo, as we all know, is the deadliest tree. A bunch of Jackie Chan showed up. <laughs> no, no, cannot, because they don't like Chinese. Is <laughs> <one. laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chan be Muhammad? Uh, uh, okay. uh, the following events uh, would highlight the kind of opposition the police would face. So that was the first, first, uh, uh, what do you call that? The, the arrest. Okay. 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 Now we go on to the second arrest. The second arrest I've am. Okay. okay. Oh, shit. All right. Now, Pass would go on to have a rally in Mamali on the night. Yeah, I thought you were rally. No, listen, that's fine. Why are you going against government? Yeah, it's pass, it's fine. How dare they? Can, can, can. Can, oh, can, can. Oh, pass can. Uh, pass can. Oh, I see. Okay, so pass will have a rally in Momali on the night of September 20th, 1985, with 2,000 to 3,000 people. Wow. Ibrahim Libya would likely be there. Isn't that a concert, I think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no music was played, only the long drum. Yeah. Uh, it's it's drum and bass. Okay. <laughs> The one, I'm sure the delivery will be very bad reviews for a week. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if I... Not exactly zoo count, uh, what the hell, uh, okay. It's zoo out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Ibrahim Libya will likely be there. Hmm. Uzzafar noted earlier in the day that, pass, that a past madrasa was fenced with sharp bamboo stakes. And if Ibrahim Libya was anywhere, he would be escorted by armed guards. Wait, so these fellas were putting up defences and shit? Yes, out. yes. So they were like, no, you will not arrest him. No way. Right? And this was happening. Ah. Muzaffar was questioning a driver of a white van at the road stop near the rally. Okay. Like, I I, I don't know why this is like, like a bit, like he's casually questioning a, a van driver. Was he Indian? So. <laughs> was he Indian? Huh? Was he Indian? Huh? No, no, no. Okay. It's in Batfa Kada, so clearly not. No. <laughs> you know there's one matcha who actually ended up there. <laughs> clearly not driving a white van, so it's fine. Uh, well, who was police to stop under this? <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, Muzaffa was questioning a driver of a white van. White van. White van. White van. Uh, Sattel? <laughs> yeah. Sattel. <laughs> a road stop near the rally. After a pair of pointed daggers were found in the van. Suddenly, <laughs> 80 people jumped out of the van <laughs> with shooting guns. What's happening now? <laughs> with katanas. <laughs> Suddenly, a man runs towards them out of nowhere and begs Muzaffa to let the driver go. So that's a bit anticlimactic. Yeah. He ran at him full yeah. speed. Full speed? Please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like attack stance already, you know. Dolo <laughs> okay. Muzaffa dismissed him, but let the driver off with a warning. He found a van with fucking knives and barangs in it, and he just went, okay, 
is a warning. Huh? Okay, so 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 no more nice. So this is this is what I'm saying. Uh, right. If it had been okay. Indian for driving the Bro, 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 no need dagger, no need parang, okay? Yeah. This country, ah, uh, look at a fucking pair of scissors inside there. Okay? <laughs> Spent 30 months in Okada. That's a shaving blade. Yeah, yeah. A pen knife or so, you know. A pen? Fuck it, yeah. Uh, no, a sharpener, no. <laughs> the one with the mirror. The one with the mirror. Yeah. Oh, oh, you need to cut the other one. I'm just saying that, okay, it's cutting not fair. Okay, so uh, Muzaffar dis- dis- dismissed him and let the driver off with a warning. Okay. He would, however, hold on to the daggers as evidence. Of what? Of there being daggers. Of, of dagger possession. Of dagger possession. Okay. He would hold on to the daggers as evidence and would go check on the valley. Apparently, this was a big mistake. <laughs> I mean, I can count a few already. <laughs> As they arrived, 200 to 300 people chanting, kill, kill, and God is great. Armed with sticks, bamboo sticks, daggers, long knives, parangs, and goloks. Now, do you know what golok is? No. no okay, a golok is a bigger parang. <laughs> Right, so I did a Google translate. Golo is oh, that really long. Uh, yeah, yeah, the one. Uh, yes, yes, it's a really big parang. The one like if you want to chop a flower, but you're too lazy to walk and go that side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, the thing is, Google translate actually translated it to broadsword. That's how big the parang is. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, so he he. he they militarized now. They militarized. There's a fucking militia happening. A little bit, yes. Okay. When, when asked, they demanded their weapons back and chanted, Kami mati shahid, hampa mati kata. Which means that you, we will die martyrs, you will die as frogs. Okay. <laughs> die as frogs! <laughs> so they weren't um, happy la, about what was happening. No, look, they found two daggers in a van. 200 to 300 people showed up and said, Give us back our weapons, god damn it! Like, like they had parangs and goloks, you know. Okay. Like they had better weapons and they still wanted their two knives. <laughs> I mean, they paid for it. Really. It's a dagger. Like, you know, they just, just like okay. cut down a parang to a dagger. Look, then one of them will start complaining, oh, you're all a dagger, I don't have, fuck you all, you know what I mean? And then, uh, but then, uh, Muzaffar realized that they wanted their daggers back. Okay. Like, I think they demanded their yeah. weapons back. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, now I know. They want their daggers back. <laughs> the mob responded. No, wait, hold on. Uh, but at the driver's side, a, wo- a voice rang. This is Pak Tunku, OCPD. Don't do anything to him. He can be trusted. Right? So another guy was there. Okay. It was Yusuf Hussein. Okay. At the time, a committee member of Pas Bali. But he's also a police officer. No, 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 he's not. He's just, he's oh, just, okay, okay. He's just around lah. Okay, okay. He, he's just like, you know, you know the good guy? Like, he just walks in like, hey, I don't know, hey, we can trust this guy. It's fine, it's fine, fine. He's OCPD, so yeah, it's fine. Okay. So he, he came to, like, the peace. Settle like, everything lah. Settle lah. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, All right. So the mob responded with, we will hold him as hostage and ask his men to return our weapons. How are they doing this to police? When the fuck did we allow all this to happen in Malaysia? Listen, <laughs> Muzaffar stepped out of the car to talk to Yusuf. Okay. Knives went to his neck. Okay, alright. Some of the crowd were not satisfied and demanded some of his men stay behind as hostage. Okay, alright. Right. So, they so started taking the police officer off stage, right? Yeah, Muz- okay. Muz- then, so basically, Muzaffar was in a police car. Okay. There's a few police officers, okay. right? So now, he went to talk to Yusuf. When he got out of the car, he went to talk to Yusuf. Straight away, knife at his neck. Yeah. They said, he said, I want to go talk to Yusuf. Okay. They said, okay, you can go. But these fuckers will stay as hostage. Okay. Alright, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Okay. okay. Muzaffar, Yusuf, and several men returned to the roadblock. Okay. Yusuf, having told the men to stay back for a moment, uh-huh. Then apologize profusely to Mufasa, uh, Muzaffar. Okay. Mufasa? <laughs> Mufasa. Okay, nah, Mufasa. Yes, little bit. Nah. 
So he apologized. Like, like, hey, sorry, ah, sorry, ah, sorry. Hey, don't kill him. Ah, ah, sorry, ah, sorry. Uh, despite his anger, Muzaffar said that he only wanted a promise that his men would be returned unharmed. Okay. Yusuf agreed apologetically and took the knives back. <laughs> <laughs> All this for two daggers. All huh? this for two daggers. Okay. Later, having learned that the police hostages were freed, Muzaffar ordered the withdrawal of all police from the area and the roadblock taken down. What? Why? Because he's scared, bro. Three hundred people show up with uh, show up with fucking sharp, sharpened bamboos and a fucking broadsword. I think I also will be like, you know, but you are uh, some other time. Okay, but also uh, hear me out, uh, uh, Police uh, got guns. <laughs> I don't know if you know. No, no, no. I, I don't know. Can you hear the mic? Hello, the mic working? No, no, but I, so, you, you, I don't know if you know, but bamboo can deflect bullets. I 100% guarantee you uh, that you sometimes can. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Have you not seen any Chinese movies? I have watched enough anime to know that you are 50% correct. Yes, yeah, correct. <laughs> so, it, it, the, the thing is, the police didn't want to take the chance that this is the 50% of the bamboo that can deflect bullets. Okay, but. I mean, still, I feel, you know, why withdrawal are you got? Uh, okay. He then ordered a tactical withdrawal. With oh, sure, sure. Yeah, the tactical withdrawal. Uh, but it sounds better than we fucking scared we don't want to go, right? Yes. <laughs> tactical withdrawal with machine gun equipped armored cars. Now, how do you withdraw if you have machine guns? <laughs> <laughs> because you know. No, no, no. Guns. You have. Three fucking sentences. <laughs> what? Machine gun equipped armored cars fronting the convoy. Uh -huh. As they left, they saw 200 to 300 armed villagers lining the road watching silently. You, okay, what? You brought a machine gun armored vehicle. Correct. To withdraw. To withdraw. Because you cannot be 200 to 300 men armed with bamboos. Okay. Daggers. Armored vehicle. You know, he the could daggers. have. Hey, these two daggers could have been a magic dagger. That's why they all came to Okay, the there's daggers. no such fucking thing as a. Oh my god. They could have just shot into the. They could have shot above the crowd and they would have ran. You, know, you understand this, right? Well, you don't know. Maybe they shot above, the then they get even angrier, then they stab you with the bamboo. Again, okay. armored vehicle, I mean. <laughs> well, you know. In a meeting with I have so many questions, bro. <laughs> if you had told me, uh, hey man, this okay. whatever department of this, what's the name of the place again? Mali, what? Uh, uh, Mumali. Like the Mumali uh, PDRM underfunded because of whatever budget cuts. No, 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 they're not underfunded. They got a special grant. They got fucking a machine gun transformer car there. <laughs> and you withdraw. Yeah. No, because they cannot fight against 200 and 300 people. No, 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 no. no you can't. I mean, that's, that's exactly what the machine gun was invented for. Huh? <laughs> to fight multiple people at one time. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> you continue. Huh? Okay. <laughs> In a meeting with Kadaf's police top brass, the next month, uh. the acting IGP berated Muzaffar. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> implying he was a coward for not shooting the villagers. Yes, he was. Yes, he 100% was. Yes. The IGP bragged that he faced student protests before this, somehow claiming those were worse. Okay, okay, alright, okay. No, no, no. The student protest is worse because students are uh, uh, smart. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> they study. Okay, so they, they know the, the physics on how to deal no, 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 no. no, with bamboo, is it? No, it's worse uh. because students want to, got opinions to change the country for the good. Uh. Ah, that's right. That's why they're dangerous. Okay, okay. Uh. they're also dangerous because you know they got student loans. <laughs> <laughs> if, you shoot a, if you shoot a student, then they won't pay back. Yeah, they won't pay back. Ah. Ah. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, they're alive, so they don't pay. But still, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, why? We never pay. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, why you tell us? One no. person in the audience still yeah. hasn't paid yet. That's right. <laughs> like you are. He's 38 years old. Yeah. Yeah. That's the weird part. Still, hasn't paid. <laughs> uh -huh. So uh, after um, he said, after he said that, Muzaffar shot up, thumped his chest. And proclaimed that he was a police officer, not a soldier. 
and then his job was to protect, not to take lives. Oh no! Yes. So nice, huh? Unless he's Indian. So nice. <laughs> to hear. Then no, they don't use I, am, I am so surprised to hear this coming from a Malaysian police officer. Yeah, exactly. We do not take life. The Indian could have died then. Now mind, it's okay. <laughs> He accidentally died. No, no, he didn't take his life. He, no, he lost it. What this will say? What this will say? No one else will. Okay, okay. Uh, he's the only one in Malaysian history who's ever said that. He points out angry that the rally goers compromise of women, children, and elderly. Oh, that cannot last. And had he used his gun, he would be charged for murder. Correct. But however, the Indian guy who died in uh, custody, that is fine. <laughs> no, that's okay. Why? I ended that part. <laughs> no, that was okay. No, no. The acting IGP was taken aback, but insists future FRU troops on raids on Ibrahim Libya did not do not need firearms, insisting that Bengali folk were part lebai, balik dua tiga gas grenade depan lari. Translation. <laughs> yeah. Are you translating? Translation. These people are just uh, religious folk. If you throw a couple of gas canisters, they all run. They all run. Okay. Right? It seemed that most of the leaders at Bukit Aman were all armchair generals. Uh, Great curations. Okay, he wrote in his book. Later, Yusuf would explain that the daggers were just an excuse. The villagers' motorbikes had no road tanks and could not get past the flocks. <laughs> And they were on the way to the rally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't care about the daggers. The daggers were just daggers. I mean, fuck the daggers. Quit it, bro. You got no road tanks. Fuck, bro. Get your bamboo and sort this out. I mean, for for to form a mob for something. Uh, <laughs> The band was really all they had. Poor thing. I mean, hey, okay lah. No, they no, had no, no road tanks. No. They had no road tanks and they chased out a fucking machine gun. <laughs> because got no road tanks. Because got no road tanks. Because got no road tanks. Exactly. They, they, you, you, you said they are planning a military revolution. Okay, they might have forgot to pay, la. you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the worst fucking excuse ever. <laughs> At 8.25 a.m. November 19, 1985. By the way, this is the third attempt. Okay, at least... Did they check about the order of next person? Did you just fuck it up? Well, I think they, they're doing that. La. At 8.25 a.m. Okay, this is not early morning 2 45 yeah, yeah. 8 25 a.m. Yeah, November 19, 1985. At least 576 policemen and FRU personnel yes. would go. embark on an all out raid on his house in Kampong Bumali. Fuck yeah, bro. For one plus house, huh? For one plus, no. 500 officers. 576 officers and FRU personnel. Okay. Uh, again, so now I need to go to the other side. Okay. It's a bit too much. Yeah, little bit. Uh, <laughs> it's slightly overkill. Uh, it's just a bit, little bit. A bit too much, I feel. Uh, in the documentary titled Al Fatihah Bamani, villagers oh, no. claim that he was closer to 3,000 cops. Okay, so one plus say five hundred, one plus say three thousand. I'm sure one plus talking about Muslim people, bro. Yeah, fucking thirty thousand people came there. No, but the whole army came there. No, it grows because when you tell someone five hundred seventy-six, that flow will go tell someone one thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That flow will tell someone three thousand. Yeah, that flow will tell someone twenty thousand. Right? One plus say thirty million people came there. Yeah, the whole of Malaysia. Yeah, everyone was there. It would be the biggest siege ever held for one suspect. Okay. <laughs> it would be tricky. Ibrahim Libya stayed there with his wife and children. There were supporters but also young students. Okay. As the villagers knew that the police were coming and were prepared. As they arrived, it began to rain. Children pelted their buses with slingshot fire. 
the, the FRU buses. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the elastic then. Ah, the because that would you take down the bus. Board. No, no. <laughs> no, this is what I'm saying. Ah. You, you've got this huge force coming in. Yeah. And then this person will now kill us. Or between 5,000 to 30 million people. Yeah. 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 7.2 billion police officers. Yes, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, they were firing swing shot. Huh? <laughs> Elastic, elastic to basu. Yeah, you're talking big shit about some bamboo. All elastic now cannot be. I mean, unless they were elastic in fucking bamboo. Yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe. Ah, that. FRU troops disembarked, lining up against the bus and then advanced on the house. Okay. They were doing a sweeping action. Huh? Yeah, sure. Suddenly. Okay, 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 okay. Just, 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 just. Suddenly. Suddenly. Yes, sir. Ibrahim Libya supporters emerge from a nearby road okay. <laughs> and face the vehicle down, shouting, God is great. Wait, 500 officers there, nobody saw them coming up the road? No, they just emerged from suddenly. Okay. They came from like poof. <laughs> they suddenly came from. Uh, no. Again, I come in. Uh, 500 officers there. Uh, no one saw them coming? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're shouting. No, no, I, just, I just want to check. This is for my own. I got. I. I, I got another podcast that I'm doing. Okay. Called what the fuck, Malaysia? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a replay of this. The same yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And the whole time, it's just, it's just my voice over his voice going, "What the fuck?" Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's very popular. So okay. So they uh, they emerge from a nearby road and face the vehicle down, shouting, "God is great!" Uh, in 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 Arabic, of course. <laughs> I've said some shit. Like. <laughs> no, but I don't, that I don't. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why you felt the need that you had to to, to qualify that statement to clarify with people that no, in I Arabic to, I have not in English. I have to. Uh, I think everyone listening to this uh, gets it. Yeah. I mean, we really wait a bunch of. Uh, Malay people from Bad Pak Kada. <laughs> yeah, again, I'm saying we're shouting in Chinese. We all understand. Like, what is great? <laughs> that is not Chinese, but you know what I mean. We all understand. The fact that you have to say it okay. means you are adding more cancel points. You understand? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm trying to make sure that this is. If I do get cancelled, not for this. Uh, too late, no. yeah. It might be the victim blaming for the sheep. Uh, <laughs> sheep did nothing wrong. Yes. Shouting, God is great, swinging their swords as if they were possessed. Okay. Yeah. But Yusuf later explains that Ibrahim Libya himself wanted no fighting. Instead, his followers insisted that his followers stay within the compound. Alright, alright. So when the calls to surrender went unanswered, Tear gas were fired and the support supporters fled to either side. Okay, so so the tear gas theory was correct, lah. Except one. Fuck. <laughs> what? Except for one. Okay. So, okay, people coming up. Yeah. They threw tear gas. Everyone so the, 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 they, they parted like the Red Sea. Uh, one fellow. One fellow standing there. Who's that? Except for one. He just stood there, staring. Tear gas, you know. Staring. Okay. When the tear gas was fired, one of the children inside the compound fainted. Okay. A teacher saw. Mm. A, a teacher saw this and thought the child had died. Alright. He ran out of the compound with a machete. Oh, okay. Try again, try again, try again, try again. Machete. Okay. Uh, good boy. With a machete. I see that. I say clap. Come on. So, I was doing well in the, the beginning part, okay? Yeah, 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 no, I'm actually quite surprised today that your brain's working. Yusuf explained, right? So he thought, he thought that mm. the lone man was that then charged the vehicle and nearly got inside wow. until he was shot dead by a constable. Oh, fuck! Yeah, I mean, kind of have to laugh. No, no, at that point, yeah. Yeah, OCPD, Musafas, escort, and diarist. The constable was OCPD's OCPD Muzaffar's escort and diarist. Yeah. Like he writes a diary. No, no, we know what that means. No, I'm still surprised. What the? Oh, fuck? are you just learning what the word means? Oh, you poor thing. There's a guy. Okay. Like, hey, okay, you come along with me uh -huh. and just write down yeah everything that happens. Correct. Yeah, because there's no video, right? Right. So basically, that was the Instagram story. This diarist, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Bro, I go to a wedding, I think I ran up to a shotgun, I'm like, fuck this wedding, I'm going back again. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, okay. like, you know, when you go to a wedding, like, you know, you, you roll up to your side, VIP, VIP. That's what like, ch 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 for VIP. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought I was like, it's okay, I, I, I just, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't care about my brother, I'm going back to whatever, <laughs> let me get married. At 11 a.m., armored personnel, armored personnel carriers yeah. crashed the gates that were pelted with Molotov cocktails. <laughs> This happened here. Yeah. It's our own very branch of Davidian nonsense, is it? To arrest one fucker, you know. It was like the. Oh my god. So, okay. So, at 11 am, armored personal carriers crashed the gates and were pelted with Molotov cocktails. More gas carriers. Oh, they got fucking Molotov cocktails as well now. No, the other side, lah. The, okay. the, the, the supporters. They use what for the Molotov cocktail? Because they're all past members, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's a whole lot of mocktails. More gas canisters, canisters were tossed into the house. Okay. As police advanced, the smoke went everywhere as they decided to retreat into the bushes of opposite the house. Okay, alright. By this time, they were all exhausted, you so recall. I'm exhausted, so actually, this is good shit. We've been exposed to tear gas for more than three hours. <laughs> the children suffered the most. Yeah, okay. Like, Ibrahim Libya's infant daughter fainted and had to be carried out. I know, I know right? Yeah. Police allowed the allowed them to go down a small trail behind the house. As the smoke cleared, Ibrahim Libya's supporters were told to surrender. Mm. Or at least send out the women and children and elderly. Okay. They refused. Alright? Yeah. Saying that they would rather defend their to guru to the last breath. How much? Do you care about someone to do all this? Uh, yeah, I, no, I like the way like, they, they say, like, hey, bring out the children. Uh. No, the children want to die! Yeah. <laughs> For him! For him! And then, and then the, the children at the back there, like, playing the last time you like, I did not, uh, I didn't want to die. <laughs> the child, like, who, who, die for who? I don't know, smell the fuck. Uncle touch me, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no, I want to go. I want to go. I want to surrender. I, you child, you don't know anything. I you want to die! It's like, hey, Dad, you should just they crash the fucking tank to the gate. Can we go? Uh, I mean, I, 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 the tear gas is just going into my eyes. Can I just leave? No! You must die. <laughs> child, you cry for three hours there, you know. You will die, or you will get married next year. <laughs> Choose one. You are really eating into this, are you? Know, this, like, you die, die, one. Uh... <clears throat> anyway, uh, <laughs> suddenly, no, no, uh, so uh, the authorities gave them five minutes to reconsider. But as Muzaffar walked away from the gate, there was suddenly a furious bar barrage of gunfire, including automatic fire. The people were running out from the compound. It was a calamity, he said. The who opened fire? Uh, no, wait. They they started shooting at the at the. At I the think I, I think I think what happened was the the they attacked they attacked first and then the police were rambo 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 rambo. So Muzaffar like who shot? Oh, 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 can do the sound one more time? Rambo 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 That's your gunshot. Yes, that's gunshot in Indian accent. Okay. <laughs> I don't want no, I don't think you've heard a gunshot before. No? That's the issue I'm having here. Okay, you got it. No no no. Uh Al Fatiha Mali, the, the documentary, claimed that once Ibrahim Libya was shot, the police moved in to shoot his followers. Okay. They had they had moved in to retrieve casualties and arrest whoever was alive. Right. Ibrahim's wife, Soleha, said that they were told to surrender with a gun to their face as she sat beside her bleeding, dying husband. It began to pour down heavily. 
Ibrahim Ilya, uh, along with the rest of the injured, were taken to Sikh District Hospital. He died along with 13 villagers and 4 cops. At least 161 people were arrested, according to Yusuf. At least 36 were charged under ISA, mm -hmm. and by 1.30 pm, the battle was over. All this for one guy? One guy. And they didn't even arrest him. No. They shot him dead. Shot him dead. Yeah, okay. By 1.30 pm, the battle was over. Bali would then be put under curfew from 3 pm to 5 am, as reported by the staff. Okay. 3 pm. <laughs> 3 p.m. So a girl's food is a bit early. Now. I mean, people still have to go to work, you know what I'm saying? Right? So 3 p.m. to 3 p.m. to what time? 5, 5 a.m. So, you pay off, man. I mean, how can your boss argue you, bro? I cannot come to work. Why cannot? Go to you. Uh, listen, tank just ran over my day. He <laughs> <laughs> opened fire for all of us. So, hey, listen. Okay, you don't give excuse. Okay, next time you want people to send you, if you don't tag, go and come, you give us notice first. Right? <laughs> That's how bosses are, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least, uh, who will be going to work? Work or home, right? Tag, tag, tag. Brother, brother, everybody is not tag, brother. Call, that call is just like, yeah, bro, I was armed with a uh, slingshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, took, I took down four policemen. Sorry. You think you only get shot by Shikana, but everybody is wrong, no matter, you're not special. Fucking boss. It was clear to all that the Mamali incident was a botch of which. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. clear. I think, it was, I think it was so clear. Like, I think botch is the most polite word uh, you can use. Yusuf talking to the police while in jail learned that even police personnel believe that this should not have happened. Yeah. According to a 1986 white paper on the topic, mm -hmm. there was never any intention by the police to use armed violence, hence the batons and tear gas. Right. The sudden ambush drove them to use firearms. And in all fairness, this was keeping in line with Musa Hitam's non-violent sense. Mm -hmm. But Audrey also stressed that he also did not want to tell the police how to do their job and undermine them. But for Muzaffar, these bizarrely contradictory goals made Mamali unwinnable. Ironically, he does agree that Musa Hitam should have kept his technical demands to himself. That means what? Just don't, don't, just don't. Shut the hell up, like. Just tell me to arrest him. I'll go and arrest him. What do you tell me? Okay, don't use violence. Don't use this. Don't do that. However, bring 500 people. Okay, armored personnel carrier. Have batons and then just back up. Uh, have like 70 other machine guns and one rail with a shotgun, is it? <laughs> I, I believe the rail with a shotgun was on the other side. Oh, the other side. Uh, oh, that's why they had to bring uh, all this ammunition. Bro, <laughs> have you faced down the rail with a shotgun? <laughs> no, bro, fucking OP, bro. I, I, I faced down the rail up up I, I faced down the rail up with the red light thing. La, like. <laughs> and it's always on fact, you know, bro. You realize, right? Yeah, that's the only job you can get. <laughs> How is it a job? It's real. It's, it's volunteer, right? It's volunteer in... Oh, uh, okay. Muzaffar okay. said that the non-violent method against fanatically protected Tok Guru and his oppressed hometown mm -hmm. was incredibly negligent. All right. Also, yeah. Ibrahim Libya was no terrorist or wanted criminal. Excessive use of force at his home hey. was uncalled for. How can, how can he say that? Okay, Amno said he terrorist, he terrorist, no? Amno said, no, but this policeman said, no, he's not terrorist. Oh, there is policeman going, going, going against Amno, huh? Okay. 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 Government, right? So, violent, <laughs> okay. violent... Oh, uh, this one, you don't say anything, right? Wait, huh? <laughs> oh, this one, no, oh, this, this one cannot. Elections, bro. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's scared, huh? No? Uh, it was uncalled for and could have snowballed into a national crisis. Okay, yeah. In short, it was a half measure and ended up in disaster. A fully yeah. protected police force asked to arrest an emotionally volatile group for purely political reasons, anti riot tactics that could have made them angrier. But the inquisition just uh, didn't just end at operation tactics, it went straight to the top. Mamali's villagers wanted justice for what happened, but figuring out who was ultimately responsible 
gets blurry. Oh my god, this country has always had a problem in uh, figuring out who's responsible for what one. Yes. You did la, I did la, you did la. I didn't find it the the Chinese or DAP, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't come out and say, it is about DAP, bro. <laughs> So that time, that time, that time, DMP was not the bad guy. Yet. Oh, that is uh, Ajay Rajaguri. Yeah, that one. Yeah. No, that time was still pass la, pass is the bad guy. Oh, pass is still uh, the bad guy. Masala pass. Wow. So anyway, listen to this. This is the 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 juicy part. Suddenly, <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Musa Hitam was seen as the de facto leader as Mahathir was on a diplomatic business uh, meeting with China at that time. Mm. Very important. So when the, <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you're not wrong. Uh, so when Mamali's massacre happened, he took the blame. But 28 years later, all right, in an obscure public forum, uploaded to Wow TV YouTube channel. Wait, 28 years later means this year. So no, uh, 84 or so 28 in 2008. Okay. Wait, what? 80, this happened in 84. 84. 28 years later, it will be 2008 or 2009. Yes. Okay. Right? In an obscure public forum uploaded to Wow TV and Wow TV YouTube channel, mm -hmm. he would drop a bombshell. Musa Yeah. Mahathi was in the country the whole time. Okay. <laughs> no, no, continue. I want to hear what he's saying. Musa claimed that he begged Mahathir to stay and handle the Mamali issue. Okay. As he put him, firstly, a lot of Malays were dying. Yeah. Secondly, it's in Qatar, which is Mahathir's home state. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, you can show how a Prime Minister should personally handle it. Musa Hitam goes on to say that Mahathir said he would think about it. And then call him as he was leaving for China. <laughs> you say I'll think about it and then ciao. No, on the way, you know, on the way to the airport, yeah, call him yeah. like, and on the way to the airport, call him to say, I'm sorry, I'm going, you take care. <laughs> what the fuck? Mahathir would go on to admit that all this was true. Mahathir actually admitted something. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> The question of responsibility in his government is incredibly hard to accept. The denial syndrome is incredible. The denial syndrome is incredibly popular. Mm. He says, also bringing up MH370 before being stopped by the foreign schools. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, if people are talking about you. Then you suddenly bring up 370 again. Can you yes. talk about your issue first, or not? On September 15, 2011, the ISA was repealed by Prime Minister. Okay. And convicted criminal, Najib Raza. Thank you for yes. adding that. Yes. Thank you, Rakim. <laughs> uh, to accommodate and realize a mature, modern, and functioning democracy, to preserve public order, mm -hmm. enhance civil liberties, and maintain racial harmonies. <laughs> Najib, <laughs> okay. later tell Malaysia Kini. <laughs> yeah. We abolish the ISA with this is Najib talking. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We abolish the ISA because it doesn't help us politically. Uh -huh. You don't kill anyone oh. politically by putting them in ISA. It only enhances them. Oh. Oh. In 2012, ISA was replaced by the Security Offenses Special <laughs> Me Measure Measures Act then or SOSMA. Replace court man. Exactly. Then. SOSMA has been criticized by 80 civil rights groups for being a tool used by the government to abuse of power. SOSMA Degla. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they took ISA, they replaced it simply It's the same thing. Yeah. And I just like I, I just want to know one thing. Now. Like the PR of that government at that time. They couldn't come up with a better name, SOSMA. <laughs> Like, you know who was the Prime Minister's wife at that time? Right? <laughs> <laughs> he know, the know the name. Hey, and he right. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> one mother will touch one for the wife. Correct. <laughs> one mother is so smart for the wife. Huh? What's your wife? <laughs> bro, so smart for the love, bro. <laughs> so See, smart. No, because the Taj Mahal also ended so, up killing a lot of people. Fair enough. When they built it. Same thing. No, I like the way Sosma is our Taj Mahal, you know. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I'm saying, it is. It 100% is because under both, a lot of Indians die. Correct. Oh. Oh. In February 2020, FAS would form a backdoor government with AMNO at the hands of Adi Awam. The same cleric who aggressively opposed AMNO's allegiance with FAS 
in the 1980s. Yeah. In the words, in the words of Mark Twain, history does not repeat, but it often rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You kill it, Yeah, yeah. I was about to say you don't hang it. You fucking wrote that shit, huh? Wow, great. Uh, great credit to uh, Rakib who came up with the story. Uh, uh, so we actually had a like a, a, almost a militant group uprising. Yes. In Malaysia, when this was had to go and handle, and by the two. Political parties who sometimes they like each other, sometimes they don't like each other, sometimes they like each other. Yes, yes. Uh, basically, they never liked each other. Ah. So, they were called Satanists, the other side were called terrorists. Yeah, there is. Uh, now they are like, oh no, they are my brother. Ah, yeah. It's like an alcoholic relationship. That's what they no, Abusive. Uh, no, no, alcoholic. You know why? Why? Because, you know when you drink one can. As I drink my tiger, <laughs> you, know, I <laughs> you know when you drink one beer, you are like, you know, I don't like this. You are like, hey, hey, you are a bastard. And then you have like two, three more. Hey, you're my brother. <laughs> okay, I, I love you. I cannot relate when you say, remember when you drink one beer? Oh, God, God. <laughs> no, no, add the first, add the first beer. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, you yeah, say two, that, three yeah. more. Okay. And then you, hey, you're my brother. But this was a very big drink. No, I'm just saying it's like an alcoholic. I'm doing a CBD. You're doing a what? A CBD. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, guys? Yeah. Is that a simile? Yes. Not a metaphor, huh? <laughs> a metaphor? Okay. You <laughs> were so close. You were so close today, you're not fucking up. You were so close, coming. you could just not say that and take it off. <laughs> is that metaphor something? Okay, hold on, back me up here. Uh, simile is something that is. No, no, you're not fucking up. You're fucking up. Okay, people in the recording cannot see this, but uh, in the front row, Tabe, our uh, yes. long time is he's wearing a shoe with the security tag still on it. <laughs> like, can you see it? Like, can you take out a price tag? Like this? But you're going to give it back, is it? Yes, yes, of course, he's going to give it back. Like, at least take out the security tag, lah. No, okay, save money. It's used for business, and then you're The So, can we? I can't believe this could actually happen. Can this happen now or not, you think? Probably, yeah. yeah. In Malaysia. No, probably if you go to like for Mali, Baling, and Basta. No, but they won't do now because now they don't care about their own ideology already. Because no. back then, whatever it is, right? Uh -huh. Whatever Pass was doing, yeah. they believed in what they were doing. That's right. why it's like, no, I don't want this sort of game caught. Yeah. I believe in all this one. You're, you are Satanist, I'm a, I'm a terrorist, yeah, all that shit. Now, uh -huh. I honestly think all these parties, they don't believe in what they care, I mean, what they preach. Right. So they care about seats, okay? It's just all votes. Votes and money. Votes and money. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, right. Right. You're right, you're absolutely right. That is a great metaphor. Again, <laughs> it is not a metaphor. What I just did was called a comparison. <laughs> I need to get 500 cops to show you. <laughs> Honestly, no, but some would say 3,000. <laughs> some would say 3,000. <laughs> Alright, that is our episode for today. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for, for being here, please. Uh, follow us on the social, the Mataman, the, the KBJ, the Kiran BDT, and all that. We'll do more of this. I think um, we're planning to do more. Live Macha Man uh, podcast recordings as well. Yes, I believe we already have the next one. Yes, uh, probably on the the thirteenth of uh, November. November. Yeah. Um, so please look out for the dates and everything else, and um, please tell your friends also to listen. And I, I hope we got three new fans here. We got so we got so many other episodes also. Where are, are you Malaysian? Malaysian? No. Where were you from? Syria. <laughs> no, okay, I should have asked because he's looking at like I want to get drugs. One, one hour vehicle. <laughs> no, no, that's a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> he's just thinking like, so how is this story funny at all? <laughs> bro, he's got an armored personal carrier, bro. That's how hardcore Syrians are, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry we cute. Malaysians are complaining about our <laughs> militant problems. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit.
Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Um,